chilly starting lineup for these Knowles. And you can see that Chad Mater, number 39, will be used at fullback in front of Miner and Snoop Minnis, number 13, the go to receiver. Winky pulls out from under center, has another first down. Puts it in Snoop Minnis' hands, and you can hear the crowd chanting Snoop for 10 yards. A lot of quick passes. Get Chris Winky in the read. Play fake. Gets time. And I believe that's Snoop Minnis at the 12-yard line for a first down. Florida State, 23 more yards. Great thing about Florida State passing game is when you're in this offense, you face in practice a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. Here you see the soft man-to-man, -man, this time to the outside. Benny Alexander giving a little bit too much room to Snoop, and Chris Winkie throws a low ball and just allows his receiver one-on-one, -on -one, almost like a post up and back. So far, the Florida defense hasn't been able to touch Winkie, and they don't again. Wide open, Snoop Minnis. 34-yard touchdown, and Winky puts up another six. Oh, yeah. No doubt in this play, Benny Alexander thought it was going to be a curl play. He squatted, and Minnis never broke stride past him. Not much rest for the Florida State defense. <laughs> a lightning strike. 146 yards tonight. He passes Duke's Ben Bennett. He's now the ACC's all-time leading passer, and he has two touchdown passes tonight. And Ben Bennett was coached by Steve Spurrier at Duke when he set those records. The right things unfold. Uh, they're still very much in the chase as Winky to the middle. Minutes makes a great catch at the 25-yard line. And you know, when Peter Warwick moved to the NFL, they said that the Seminoles lacked the go-to receiver. Well, how about Snoop Minnis, number 13, standing up this year? Yeah, he, he might not be the go-to receiver, but Mark Rick told us yesterday, and Brent, you kind of said it best, he attacks the ball. These receivers attack the ball when it's in the air. Here's Winky from the shotgun on the slant. Complete again for a first down to Snoop Minnis. Nice adjustment from Mark Rick, the offensive coordinator from Florida State. Instead of running the slant, you'll see Minnis come down and stop right on the hash. So he doesn't get inside with that robber. He goes down, gets it, the ball's thrown right on the hash, and a little stop route. There you see the robber guy getting there late. That's a nice adjustment from Mark Rick. And already Minnis has had a 100-yard day, Gary. Five catches, 108 yards, and one touchdown for Minnis. Winky now pressure from behind, and he gets it off to Snoop Minnis, who's having a career here in the uh, first half. That's 11 more yards, and that's 118 with six catches and a touchdown already for number 13. See Chris Winky trying to keep the ball away from the middle of the field. Minnis toward the top of your screen. Winky wants Minnis. Got him on the slant across midfield. First down, Florida State. 18 more yards for Minnis. Can't really cover much better than that with Lido Shepard this time. Watch it to top. Winky play action pass. Little better turning this direction than to his left. The ball's thrown low right on the one of the three. Actually, wasn't that low? Right into his gut that time. And Minnis is such a big target and absolutely fearless. I remember when Mark Richardson said to us yesterday, Brandon, he said, did we know he was, he said to Jeff Brown, did we know he was this good a couple of years ago? <laughs> this guy. Winky back there in that shot game. Great protection. He's going. He's got a man. Touchdown. Touchdown. Florida State. Snoop. 51 yards. This was a big time throw. A big time throw. This ball wasn't any more than 15 yards off the 
ground the whole way, and he gunned it. And Minnis with a career night. Eight catches for 187 yards, his best ever, and two touchdowns. And it's to the outside. He's just going to streak right in between the safety and the corner. They feel that Minnis, Florida, is going to stop and try to make a first down. He just keeps going. And watch this gun. That ball is on the line. No more than look at the safety. Never got to at that time. Lester Norwood. And if Todd Johnson's not in the football game right here, that may be a big difference in this thing because Norwood took a bad angle, misjudged the ball, and Minnis trots into the end zone. That's a, that's a big time throw right there. That's 45 yards almost on the line. Here is our uh, Chevrolet players of the game, and uh, certainly. Uh, Snoop Menace, who had a monster of a night uh, for Chris Winkie. They voted for that one. I wasn't looking. Eight catches, 187 yards, and two touchdowns. Jay, I'm sure there are a lot of disappointed Gator fans there tonight in Tallahassee. Well, there are a lot of disappointed Gator fans, but it should be noted there are way, way many more uh, very excited Florida State Seminole fans. Well, this is a nice pickup, but really the connection that worked for Florida State and the reason they had such an easy time was Wanky to Snoop. Marvin Minnis with a terrific game. 14-7, Florida State led it to half, and in the second half, they built on that lead. Again, it's Wanky, the same play. Hey, if it works, just keep going to it. Minnis had no problem at all getting behind the Florida secondary.